This is a Boogaloo Ant, and today we're going to show you how to remove all of the textiles in case you want to wash them in a washing machine or conduct small sewing repairs. Now you are going to need to remove the textiles while the seat unit is attached to the stroller because once you fold down the seat unit in order to remove it, the uh, baseboard sort of gets locked against the seat back and then it makes it a lot more difficult to remove the actual textiles. We're going to start with the canopy. If you lift up, lift up this flap on the back side of the canopy, you'll find a zipper. You can just unzip all the way over and then it will separate. And then looking underneath the canopy, the uh, canopy itself is attached to these side adapters which are connected to the rib and adjust of course the position of the canopy. And at the bottom is a small uh, elastic band. You need to pull that off the hook and then you can just pull that canopy rib right out of that adapter. You do the same thing on the other side. Removing this elastic band and then pulling this rib out. And now you can just pull it entirely out of the canopy. And uh, there is an additional pliable plastic rib inside, but you don't have to worry about that. Just fold the canopy like this as you're pushing it into a washing machine. Okay, let's move on to the seat. The seat fabrics uh, come apart in two parts, and we'll deal with the top portion first. So, uh, there is a Velcro on the side here, at the bottom. You can open up, and this allows you to get to this little sort of uh, square well, inside of which is a button. And if you press it just slightly, not too far, then you can pull out the adapter here. This. Okay, we'll do the other side. Opening up that Velcro to access that button and depressing it so we can pull out those canopy adapters. Now we're going to have to thread these uh, uh, harness belts through this, through the holes in the seat back, in order to pull it off. So start by pulling up a bit and off the sides, see a little bit of looseness. And there is a Velcro strip here. Detach my harness. And then you're gonna just slide those um, shoulder pads through. And then the back portion of this upper portion of the seat textiles is pushed down behind this plastic plate and you're just going to pull it out like this. Okay, we then have the lower portion of the seat and on the front underneath are a pair of buttons. It's just uh, holes, slits cut in the fabric and they clip on there. And then at the base here are a pair of push buttons that you're just going to pull off. I'm going to pull out the uh, central harness buckle and thread through the uh, side buckles. Okay, then the last step of pulling out this lower portion of the seat fabric, uh, there are plastic tubes sewed into the textiles behind here that run into troughs on the inside of the frame. And we're just gonna need to pull this whole seat fabric down so that those plastic tubes can pull out of that trough on either side. It pulls out, of course, right here where the well is a bit larger. Okay, the entire seat unit is removed. Now we're going to remove the shopping basket. Okay, so this shopping basket is gonna come apart in pieces and we're gonna start with the pocket on the back side. If you just reach down on one side, and pull, you can just pull out these little very short plastic pegs that are uh, set into short troughs back there. And then you can do the same thing on the top. Just pull these out as well. Just pull them out and up. You can see that those are just kind of pinched in to four points. Then we want to detach the flap here 
and there are a couple of buttons here in the back. One lower one on either side, and then one higher one on either side. Okay. If you then flip the stroller on its side, you'll notice that there are some Velcro straps here to attach. go. Then we're going to come around to the front. You again have a pair of buttons here on the sides and then you have more Velcro straps. Another three. They're most easily accessible if you pull forward that front lip of the shopping basket. So then that is all of the textiles. You have again your shopping basket components, your two seat components, and your canopy. You can put all those in the washing machine at 30 or 40 degrees, a cooler wash, and just use whatever uh, detergent that you normally use for your clothes. And uh, they should wash just fine. And if you need help putting it back together, we have another video on how to assemble the Boogaboo B. It was like a first assembly, and uh, that will show you how to remount most of these textiles other than the shopping basket, which should be pretty self-evident. In any case, we hope that this video was useful to you, and if it was, we ask that you subscribe as it helps us continue making videos in the future.